Greetings, friends of our Blessed Lady. This week, we turn our attention to the image of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton on the entrance to our central shrine of the Miraculous Medal. Elizabeth Ann Bailey Seton was the first native-born citizen of the United States to be canonized by the Roman Catholic Church. For a brief description of her life and work, see the script below this video. You may need to click on March 20th, 2018 to access the script. It is very fitting that an image of Mother Seton be included in our central shrine. St. Catherine Laboret, to whom Mary appeared, was, after all, a daughter of charity. Elizabeth had found inspiration in their rule of life for her new community. Today, six groups of Sisters of Charity look to Mother Seton as their foundress. Soon after the death of Mother Seton, one of these communities, the Emmitsburg Sisters of Charity, merged with the Daughters of Charity. Mary herself, Our Lady of the Chair, had foretold this merger to St. Catherine in her conversation during the first apparition. The Emmitsburg Sisters joined the Daughters of Charity some 20 years after Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal had predicted this event to St. Catherine. In our image, a white house appears in the background. It represents the original free school that was conducted in a wood frame white house that still exists today. Mother Seton embraces two children. The young girl represents the original free school for girls established in Emmitsburg. She glances to her right in a gesture suggesting she is looking into her future after her formation by the sisters. The young boy reaches up to his teacher, Mother Seton, the one who was instrumental in the start of the parochial school system for Catholic children of the United States. Our prayer this week is the collect from the Mass for January 4th, honoring Mother Seton. We pray, O God, who crowned with the gift of true faith St. Elizabeth Ann Seton's burning zeal to find you, Grant by her intercession and example that we may always seek you with diligent love and find you in daily service with sincere faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Next week we will reflect upon the image of St. Justin de Jacobus on the entrance to our central shrine. Thank you, dear friends, for your patronage and especially for your devotion to Mary. May you always remain close to our Blessed Lady. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you.